Waste management has become a serious issue in urban areas in the last couple of years. According to the Planning Commission report of May 2014, nearly 68% of the garbage generated in the country is collected, out of which only 28% is treated by the municipal authorities. This mismanaged treatment of waste leads to uncontrolled dumping of garbage on the streets, thereby reflecting on the inefficiency of the waste management system in urban areas. The waste that is dumped releases methane and carbon dioxide gases in the air as it decomposes in the landfills. This has an adverse impact on human health and climate change. With rapid urbanization, industrialization and population increase in India, solid waste management has become a key challenge for the state governments and local municipal bodies. The amount of waste generated if collected and treated well can be effectively used to generate energy. It will also help us keep roads and residential areas clean. Not just this, it will also help us in curbing greenhouse gas emissions, thereby enabling a healthier airspace. Interestingly, about 33,000 tons per day of waste has the untapped potential to generate approximately 430 megawatts of power. This is where Terry's technology comes into play. Terry's enhanced acidification and methanation technology is an efficient way to convert biodegradable solid waste into useful gas. What does it comprise of? Team technology consists of three zones. The acidification zone, the methanation zone, and the gas collection or holding zone. How does it work? Organic shredded waste goes into the acidification zone. Then water goes into the acidification zone. Leachate and manure comes out of the acidification zone. This leachate goes into the methanation zone. The product of methanation is biogas and effluent. Effluent mixed with some amount of water is recycled to the acidification zone. Biogas is then stored in the collection zone. The biogas generated from team technology can be used for cooking purposes, power generation and also for thermal applications. Who all can benefit from the use of team technology? Food and fruit processing units? hotels, community kitchens, vegetable markets, industrial canteens and townships, and municipal corporations. For more information about team technology, log on to terryin.org slash technology slash methanation technology.